Hey y'all, what's up? My name is Sonali. Welcome to my channel. If you guys are new, definitely hit that subscribe button. It is currently Wednesday and I usually do Week in My Life. I started one, but guys, it's been raining here in Austin for like so long. Like definitely like not normal for Austin because I feel like it never rains and it's like in the middle of the summer. But I'm not complaining because... It looks like the next week is going to be a lot cooler weather, like in the 90s. I'm like, that's so much cooler than at least being 100 degrees. So looking forward to that. But it's also made me be in a really, really weird mood. And if you guys haven't caught up on my vlogs, my boyfriend moved home for six months. So like I'm also in a weird mood because of that and just like figuring out how to live alone and all of that kind of stuff. The rain kind of like came at a good time and a bad time because it kind of gives me a reason to like be lazy and just you know enjoy these like moments alone and be somber <laughs> and sit with my thoughts but then also I think it's just like been canceling my plans and you know just making me sad because I don't like rain like it makes me feel weird and I also can't do much content because it's so dark in my apartment and all that kind of stuff so anyways I tried to vlog but then I was like I'm not feeling it so I kind of just threw the footage away but it's Wednesday and I'm forcing myself to vlog in a way of like not because I have to for any reason like this isn't sponsored I don't really like care about AdSense because I don't really make that much off of YouTube anyways but honestly like vlogging makes me happy and I think it'll like boost my mood talking to you guys even though you're not talking back but like I don't know it makes me happy it's like definitely a passion of mine f doing YouTube and I was just thinking the other day I have so many people telling me that they want to start a YouTube channel and I'm like honestly don't just like do TikTok because most of the time 90% of these people want free stuff and just like a way to make money on the side unless you're like super passionate about it and like I love having these memories to look back on like I'm so thankful I vlogged my whole college experience because I have all those vlogs to look back at but if I was just doing this to make money like I would 100% not touch YouTube and just do TikTok because that's honestly where I get all my collaborations now is all through TikTok like maybe a little bit on Instagram but I barely get any on YouTube just went down to the locker room to pick up some packages I actually have some campaigns that I need to film today um, and I'm very proud of myself because I have been just trying to get as organized as I can so I've really been trying to use my notion um, app which is kind of like a, I don't know how to describe it like an organization note-taking app and it's so cool because you can customize it and you can have like so many tabs on the side. I have to show you guys later um, because I'm kind of proud of it. But I did like a calendar of just the dates that I have for my collab. So like when I need to submit my content or when I need to post my content. And I think that's going to make me feel a lot less stressed because at first I was just kind of like, I don't even know what I was doing. Like I was putting it in my like personal calendar. So like I just have so much going on that it's stressing me that freak out so I decided to make it separate and just you know concentrate on one thing at a time because I think that's my biggest issue right now with just like work in general um if you guys are new here I'm a photographer in Austin and an influencer so I have like collabs for the influencer stuff and then obviously my shoots and like what I need to promo for things coming up for example December grads are not coming up but like December is not that far away and I want to start planning like holiday minis and um, you know winter grads for earlier because I know I'm going to be home November and December probably like I was last year because of Thanksgiving and Christmas and all that sort of stuff and I had to say no to a lot of opportunities on that end during the holidays so I really really want to start like promoing it before so I can get my clients thinking about it and booking ahead of time. Other than that I've been having like a little bit of a hard time just like figuring out what I want to eat because when I was living with my boyfriend he would be like okay do you want to get food like let's go here or we would decide to cook in and decide on a meal together but now that it's all on me i'm like i don't even know what i want like what is there even to eat it's just a weird like thing to you know think about i guess i don't know how to explain it like i almost don't feel like as hungry because someone else isn't talking about food in my ear which maybe is good because you know like maybe I should just eat when I am hungry which you know is like the three meals of the day but anyways so I went grocery shopping yesterday finally because I was like eating 
just like the randomest stuff that I could find in the pantry. Um, but then when I got home and I was gonna make dinner, I was like thinking, I literally did not even get any meals. Like I didn't go with meals in my mind, which was definitely problem number one on my end. Um, yeah, that was stupid of me because I just got like a whole bunch of fruits and snacks and all this kind of stuff. I did get chicken, so I made like some chicken breast or thigh thing with like sweet potatoes last night, which was honestly really, really good. And I only really have like, what, three more dinners this week and I have a lot more chicken. But anyways, I need to get better about just like meal planning. And I think in the last vlog, I told you guys that my mom recommended me to do something like HelloFresh so I wouldn't have to think about like what I'm gonna eat every single night or just do it three nights out of the week so I can like cook on the other two nights like what I want because I always see like TikTok recipes that I want to recreate but that's the other thing like I want to cook because I love cooking but it's not as fulfilling cooking for yourself like that it just doesn't hit the same you know like I always loved seeing Ryan get seconds because I know I like cooked a good meal and just like seeing people enjoy your food just is so fulfilling to me um, so I maybe need to start inviting friends over for dinner when I want like something big like chili or like I don't know some big pasta dinner or something so I don't have like too many leftovers I guess I'm just going on a random like ramble of my thoughts over the past few days of like living alone for my first week um, Because there's been a lot of thoughts. <laughs> I also kind of knew that a big issue for me was going to be like consuming a lot on social media or just like podcasts or not being able to live in the silence which i'm definitely gonna have to work on like it's only the first few days of being alone um but i've been like almost more addicted to my phone like i'll literally just like sit anywhere and play tiktoks just so i can hear people talk to me or like sounds in the background um and yesterday or was it today i think it was yesterday i was cooking dinner and i just told like the google home to play like something on spotify and honestly I didn't touch my phone once while cooking dinner and I feel like that's not like normal for me because I'm always like on my phone scrolling um, and so maybe I need to do that more just like play more music I'm not like super into music though I have my same like house playlist I play all the time <laughs> um, so maybe I just need to find more music and just get more into that um, because I feel like the scrolling is just getting a little too much and may not be good for up here i want to start getting ready for the day and i want to film a lot of content today because also another thing that happened is i got new teeth i feel like i'm like trying to catch you guys up in every vlog but i got new teeth so these are my temp veneers i literally just went in for a follow-up today and we're actually going to change like kind of a lot on my teeth i'll zoom you guys in so this is what it looks like now and i just wanted like an even more like leveled smile because i think it goes like up a little bit and that's like how my natural teeth were and i just like you know if i'm getting veneers i want them like super straight across so i think we're gonna change like kind of a lot about my teeth so i'm really really excited to see like the finals and that's gonna happen on september 8th and i'm gonna vlog the whole thing for you guys so i'm really 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 excited about that um and then yeah so having new teeth it's kind of like weird to see myself in pictures and like even just smiling with them. I'm going to have to relearn to smile and everything. Maybe it won't feel as weird when I have the real ones in because the temps are one block of teeth. And so it feels really weird and not natural, but like the finals are going to be like individual teeth <laughs> um, and they're going to be porcelain. So they're not going to feel like as rough as these do. Not that they're like horrible, but like on the back of the teeth, it feels as though I didn't brush my teeth. Like, that's how weird it feels and, like, almost scratchy. So, um, it's kind of been weird filming content for that reason because I feel like I'm not used to them yet and I don't know. I don't know. It's just weird. So, I feel like I've been not in, like, the mood to film, at least for TikTok, um, which is kind of sad because I've been loving TikTok and I'm also mad at myself because i had a goal of trying to hit 100k on tiktok by september 1st and it's currently august 22nd and i'm at 82,000. when i was talking to like management agencies which i ended up not going with one um because i am just at a place where i don't want them to take like 20 percent but when i was talking with them they're like once you get to 100k 
brands start to like really start looking at you and like you'll get like a bunch more brand deals, which obviously, you know, that would be great. So I'm really, really wanting to hit that, but I honestly have not been putting in the work on TikTok and I'm really mad at myself for that. I just feel like I've been having like a lot of weird life changes in this past month. So it's been a weird time, but that is no excuse because this is like my income. So I need to really just like brainstorm, sit and brainstorm like ideas and all that kind of stuff. And I do want to start talking on TikTok more because I feel like I scroll TikTok on my For You page and it's just people talking. Like I literally maybe hear one trending sound every 10 talking videos. So I really think that they're trying to push the like original audios even more. I know I said I was going to stop rambling like three times. I just feel like I have to catch you guys up on so much. So Monday swimmer was having a sale and I'm kind of mad because I literally bought the swimsuits when it was 40% off. But then a couple days later they went to 60% off. And I was like, are you freaking kidding me? Um, but it's okay. I still love the company, so I definitely want to support. And I re-bought one of the swimsuits like in the same color and everything because I think I lost it somewhere. I'm not really sure where, but I literally can't find it anywhere. So this is the um, Portofino one piece. And what I love about Monday Swimwear is the quality is like insane. Like it really sucks me in because it's almost like that Spanx material and like it's ribbed too. So it really just makes me feel so secure and like sucked in. And then this is a new color. I have um, this um, style. I guess the other one that I have is ribbed. So I expected this one to be ribbed, but I'm gonna try it on and see. Okay, right, so the next thing I got is for the pantry. There's like a really big space on the bottom of the pantry and I'm just like, I don't know what to do. So everything's just like stacked up. So I thought I would get some like, drawer kind of thing so i'm gonna set this up later i am so excited for this because this is a mirror phone case and i actually have one brand collaboration coming up that they are specifically asking me to film with the back of my camera and i had this like brilliant idea of getting a mirrored phone case i'm just gonna cut it um so that i can like see what filming because most of the time when I film with the back of my camera, I can't see anything, obviously. Um, so I got a little mirrored phone case for that. This is what it looks like on, and I feel like this is, oh, oh, <laughs> I'm definitely distorted. Like it is 100% distorting me on the back, but at least I can see like how it's being placed and like if there's anything on my face that shouldn't be there. So this purchase is kind of funny, but like 100% necessary here in Austin. Um, I bought a neck fan <laughs> because since I am going to be the one taking Sophie out like 100% of the time, obviously, and unless Ryan comes and visits, um, I get really, really irritated in the sun like when I have to like stand out there for a really long time. And sometimes it takes a while for her to like sniff everywhere and pee and poop and shit. And so for me not to be irritable, I thought I'll get a neck fan for when I take Sophie on walks or just like out when it's super, super hot out, which it feels like it always is. I thought this was gonna be so freaking smart. And even just like on walks, like it looks like headphones. So you can um, put it around, yeah, I believe it go just goes like that. So it looks like you're wearing headphones. Although it would be weird if I went on a walk with this and like my over the head headphones. I feel like people would be like, what the fuck is she doing? Um, but I am super freaking excited for this because I feel like this is going to be um, also really smart for when I have photo shoots outside. I can give my client this um, to cool her down because I'm always telling my clients, you should bring a mini fan because it's gonna be hot. And the people that do it, like their lives are saved. So now I have this, I need to make sure it's charged. And I wonder if it is a little bit charged so I can turn it on. I kind of thought it would be more powerful, but it still feels really good. Let's see if it goes even more. No, that was it. I guess it has three speeds. Okay, you know what? It does feel very cooling. And when I'm hot or like 
Honestly, even out shooting fall looks, this is going to be a game changer because I have to like change in my car. It's always so hot. Just finished my makeup and my hair and I used a new foundation today. It's called She Glam. I guess it's on Shein, but I think it's its own website like sheglam.com. Anyways, this one TikToker was talking about this foundation that's like $9 and it's really, really good. So this is what it looks like on my skin. And it's supposed to be like super full coverage. It was, but like, this dang bruise is really showing through like a lot of my like more full coverage foundations so it sucks but at least I can kind of cover it up and like show this side of my face but I filmed two TikToks and now I'm going to eat some breakfast. I tried out these like soft scrambled eggs the other day and they were so good I've been craving them ever since so we're gonna make them. The main campaign I'm filming today is for Madewell. So I got my little Madewell jeans on and actually this full outfit, except for the shoes, is Madewell. Look how cute this little ball sweater is. So we're gonna go to Marabou Coffee Shop, which I already took you guys along. I think it was my last vlog actually, but I proposed the location to the team and they said they really liked it. So, I mean, I don't mind going back. It was super cute and the matcha was really, really good with Nagin and we are looking through TikTok sounds because I literally, once she got in the car, I was like, so I have some homework for you. You have to post two TikToks during our hangout session. Well, maybe not post it because like wait till later tonight, I think, mm -hmm. but still you got to make two TikToks because I'm trying to get her on TikTok. I'm telling her it's that's scary. It is. Honestly, it is. it is very, very daunting. But, but why you are on YouTube? I don't get it. I don't know. I think there's just, TikTok is so different than YouTube. I feel like you really have to be just, I don't know. I don't know why I'm like that. It's so weird because a lot of people are like, I like TikTok better because I can like let loose and like mm -hmm. be myself. So I can't let loose. I think so that's weird. the problem. <laughs> it's I so rigid. Because I get it. I get it for Instagram. Like you have like, or like we just have people in our past that like are on our Instagram, mm -hmm. so maybe you just like don't want to be your full self. Like I get that, but TikTok like you're starting fresh, you're starting new. Yeah. Well, I will have to post those yeah, two videos. Yeah. It's, like it's there's no non-negotiable. <laughs> um, but yeah, she's on YouTube if you guys don't know, and she does like a lot of like living alone videos, which I'm like honestly I've been kind of binge watching some of them, especially Aww. because I'm like um, the one you just posted was really good and. Yeah. It's Naturally really, really good. Yeah. Follow me. Thanks, girl. Mm -hmm. oh, we got a shout out. <laughs> okay, <laughs> so we're gonna go inside and I just told her that the the like vision I have for my brand video is more like paparazzi, like cameraman's not there. I'm just like chilling mm -hmm. doing my errands. That's what I told the brand, but I was like getting matcha and looking at a home store is probably not errands. <laughs> but um I guess just showing off the fit. And honestly the brand sent me a sound that they want me to use. It's like a jingle and it actually is such a bop, so I'm like I won't be surprised if that, if that sound goes viral. And, like really? people use it. It is a yeah, really good sound. It's kind of it's kind of a bop, so I'm excited to use it. I'm excited okay. to see it too. All right, let's go get some matcha. I went to my happy place this morning, which is Central Market. Something about it just makes me feel so good. <laughs> I love walking around bougie grocery stores and just looking at all the fun snacks. So I wanted to do a little grocery haul because um, I got some good stuff, but I got like a lot of like salmon things. I don't know why I did that, <laughs> but I couldn't say no. Okay, so first off we got the balsamic fig dressing. This sounded really good, and I have spinach in there. I also got strawberries and goat cheese. Well, let me not get ahead of myself, but I wanted to make a salad. I saw that Jenny's ice cream was on sale, so I literally just had to. My favorite flavors are uh, the gooey butter cake and then the wild, wild berry lavender. Together, too, it's just such a good pairing. Next, we have sourdough bread. This is 
the only reason I went to Cinder Market was to get this because um, I bought my favorite butter the other day. I don't know if I already said this, but when I was at HEB, they had my favorite. I'm pretty sure it's vegan butter. I'm, I'm not personally vegan. My mom is, and she showed it to me. It just tastes really, really good on sourdough, so it's like one of my weaknesses. Then I got some sushi. The last time I was at Whole Foods, which I know Whole Foods and Central Market are totally different, but like they are like similar in ways because they're bougie grocery stores. Last time I was at Whole Foods, I was like, the sushi looks amazing, even though it wasn't like super cheap, but Anyways, this looks really good. It's $10, which I feel like is, I guess, normal for like a sushi restaurant. I don't know. And then I saw salmon, like sashimi salmon, which was amazing because I usually have to drive all the way up to H Mart up north to get sushi grade fish. So I'm really, really happy that I found this, even though I feel like the fish that I get at H Mart is a lot more, like the quantity is a lot more. It's a bit, little bit more expensive, but especially if you're making like a poke bowl for like two people, going to H Mart is so worth it because you can get so many other like fruits and vegetables for really, really good prices. But this was like $14 and I think I'm gonna make like a poke bowl or I don't know. I think I'm gonna look up some TikTok recipes to do with that. And then, <laughs> I got some more salmon, so I actually reached for this first because I had chicken in the fridge. And I was like, you know what? What if I get sick of chicken? I maybe should have gotten salmon. Then I got some goat cheese and I saw this like honey goat cheese. That sounded so good. I've heard a lot about just this brand as a whole, Siete. And so I wanted to try these chips. So I just got sea salt chips. Um, I got some bunches of mint and basil. I actually just purchased a click and grow. I think that's what it's called. But basically, it's like an indoor um, plant grower, if you will. And there's like a little light and I'm pretty sure like it waters it on its own. I'm hoping it does. And then you buy specific pods. There's so many herbs you can choose from. There's like apple mint, which I didn't even know existed. I had, I had no idea what it was. I was like, is that the same as mint? Um, but I think it's only being delivered at the end of this month. So I just went ahead and picked up some herbs and it smells so good. <laughs> and then I got some shallots because I've been seeing so many, again, referencing TikTok, <laughs> but I've been seeing so many like chefs using shallots instead of onions. I really want to look into it more. And I'm very inspired by this girl on TikTok. She does day in my life as a sh private chef in the Hamptons. They're so interesting because she literally makes like breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And these recipes look so amazing. So I really, really do want to learn how to cook more. But the issue is, is that now that Ryan doesn't live with me, I'm only cooking for myself and it's just not as exciting. Obviously, I have an Indian background and culture and everything like that, but I do not know how to cook anything really i mean i usually like buy those like butter chicken packets and i don't really cook anything from scratch which kills me inside because i really do want to learn but i don't know it's just years of practice and obviously i don't have that under my belt just yet but i guess you know it's better to start today than tomorrow um okay so this has actually been on my grocery list for a while now these are just rice paper um uh, yeah, it's rice paper. So I can make like spring rolls and I got my oyster mushrooms These were I don't even know actually how much these were it didn't have a let's see. Oh, okay. They were ten dollars. That's not horrible because These can get pricey at farmers markets definitely recommend to get these at like an Asian grocery store like H Mart or 99 ranch They have really good ones for very very inexpensive I just didn't want to drive all the way out there and I was craving um, those mushrooms. So again, I just bought strawberries for like salads and stuff. I think this might be the last thing. And I got cucumbers in case I wanted to juice or put it in my salad. So yeah, that's my little central market haul. I love this place so much. I mean, it's very, very comparable to Whole Foods, I will say, um, but it's just so fun just getting to see all the new and upcoming like foods and brands and all that kind of stuff um but today i really really want to focus on my photography brand i feel like i need to lock in some rates for like the upcoming 
few months and next grad season because I definitely want to increase my rates in like a certain season or like a certain month, especially for like April grads. Like I'm gonna do an early bird package for March and then maybe April I'll increase the rates. Having a little late breakfast, I'm just gonna use this container and put the grapes in here. I love to slice my grapes. This is how my mom used to do it. Cottage cheese and grapes are such an underrated combination. I tried peaches and cottage cheese the other day and it just like didn't hit as good. Also, this is lactate. So for all my lactose intolerant girlies out there, you're welcome. <laughs> I'm feeling like I need a midday pick-me-up and I got some Celsius's in a PR package actually and I think I've tried these before. I can't really remember. Um, I got Tropical Vibe pineapple-y kind of drink. Let's see. Ooh, strawberry lemonade. That sounds good. Okay, let's try it together. I guess I was kind of expecting it to be a little bit more carbonated. But it's not. It's pretty good. I feel like I just like want to be like super energized and like go crazy and like get shit done today. Because I've been like organizing and like slowly doing work over the past few days. But I just want to get a lot done. Especially because I feel like it's sunny. I want to create content. I have makeup on. And I need to do the photography stuff because I've been pushing that off. And I have some DMs to respond to. And I hate making people wait. But I also need to like think about like rates before I <laughs> message them back. Um, but cheers, let's get some shit done today. I've been doing some research on my competitors in the area and like what they charge and just like what their packages are. I personally don't put my rates out on the internet, but I do appreciate <laughs> when other photographers do it. So I get kind of like, you know, base my numbers off of that. So I've been doing that and then I drank the Celsius and now I'm feeling so anxious and I hate the feeling, but I am getting like stuff done. And I was thinking I could create like a contact form. I was going to do it on Google Forms, but I was like, there has to be a way to make this cuter. So I actually have Canva Pro. I like have the subscription. So I was like, there has to be like a widget or something. And then I found this thing called Typeform where you can like actually insert the widget into like a Canva template which I haven't made the Canva template, so I'm just working on the type form because it's kind of like confusing at first, but I want to show you guys it because it's very interesting. So first question is, hey, what's your name? Then I say, are you a high school senior? And then like, if it says yes, then I go to the next question, which is when would you ideally like to shoot? And then if it says no, then it kind of gives this little, what's this, just like a screen that says like, you know, follow for more updates on anything else. But then when you go into logic, which this is kind of the confusing part and the cool part. So this is kind of where you can like end the question, I guess. Um, so let's see, this is the, when would you, I do it. Okay. So are you a high school senior? We'll do that one. Is it focusing? Okay. So basically if they choose B, which is no, you can put it to like the end screen that says this contact form is just for high school seniors. But if they say yes, you can go to the next question. So I thought this was so cool. And the fact that you can just like embed it in a widget is awesome. If I had the patience, I would literally make so many type forms for like anything. Like even in my friend group, I was like, this could be a cool thing to just like if you wanted to create like a weekend itinerary or for like a bachelorette party, you can get other people's like opinions on what they want to do. It seems free for now. I'm not sure like what you can buy or like what you can get more of if you purchase a plan because I do see view plans on the top corner, um, but I think it's free for now. So I'm good on that. But my issue is just like coming up with the packages and everything like that because I, I don't want to like be too expensive for people to be like, oh, that's like really expensive, but I know that my prices are not close to what other people are charging, which I feel like I don't wanna be the exact rate that everyone charges, cause I do wanna like get those grads that maybe can't afford those packages. But in my eyes, obviously I'd rather do less work, but get paid more. And I feel like I've been like established in Austin for a while and just like I've been in the industry for a very long time. So 
I feel like I can raise my prices, but I just do feel bad. Like even last year I raised my prices and I'm surprised that it went the way it did. But then I got one senior that was like, oh yeah, like I chose you because you were so much cheaper than the others. And I was like, <laughs> I mean, that's great and all, but I'm like, oh shoot. <laughs> I also just got a text from my friend Jenna saying that she was doing like a happy hour with friends if I wanted to come. So I think I'm gonna go. It's at 7 p.m. It's currently 3 p.m. So I still have a lot of work to do. I still wanna film some TikToks, but I'm not really sure what to film. So I also want to like put all my ideas down, <sighs> which I feel like I said that, but it's just so hard when like your mind's running and it also doesn't help when you're doing like two, I wouldn't say completely different jobs because I feel like photography and influencing is like in the same realm, but like, but the tasks are completely different and it just makes me want to combust sometimes. But I was telling you guys about my Notion calendar. So I wanted to show you guys what it looks like. We have all my tabs over here. This one is for sponsorships. And I just wanted one place to see, you know, when I need to submit my content, when I'm going to post it. So here is some of the stuff. So basically submitting Wayfair content. So I definitely want to get this filmed today and submit my Wayfair content today. I actually already submitted the Madewell content early. The really long ones are a whole duration period where you can choose your post dates. But for, let's say, this September 1st one, I already told them that I would post on September First, so I need to make sure I'm not posting this Wayfair on September 1st because I like to spread it out a little bit, you know what I mean? Um, so same with the Express content. I could probably post that another day just so I don't kind of bump into the DSW content. I feel like whenever I explain this kind of stuff, like it makes my mind go like, goodness gracious, like slow down. I don't know what the frick you're talking about. So I don't know if it's interesting to you guys or what. My brain is all over the place, especially with this damn caffeine. It's making me feel some weird things. I'm all ready for happy hour. I literally just changed into another hot pink top, which is very not on brand for me, but I'm loving it. I think it just like really pops with my skin color, um, but gonna bring my pop bay bag this is not Bottega Veneta but it's like the dupe for the noodle bag or whatever it's called it really doesn't fit shit at all <laughs> like I can put a card my ID maybe my keys and a lip liner so just a heads up it is 100% for show and I love it for that reason but I definitely bring it out when I you know don't need a lot so a cake tonight because I actually I'm probably gonna uber over there I'm not really in the mood to find parking downtown and pay for it and all. So I'm just going to do that. Also, I don't know if I told you guys this, but I like misplaced my business credit card. I know it didn't get stolen because I like used it in person. But I actually just called the last place I used it and I definitely left it there. So I'm going to go get it tomorrow. But let me give you guys a quick OOTD before I leave. This is what we're working with today. I've already worn this outfit. I think maybe with different jeans, but I really like this top. It's from Revolve. Maybe I need to like look up how to like do the bow nicer. Um, but it's kind of like this asymmetrical vibe. Super cute. And then these jeans are from Zara. You can barely see my feet because they're so long and I always cut my Zara jeans. I am 5'3 and they're always so long on me, but I kind of like it, <laughs> especially because I'm wearing heels. I think they're like four inch heels, but these are my go-to heels. They're the Knolls heels from Dolce Vita and they have like a clear strap on them so they go with everything and they're actually very very comfortable I don't usually wear heels because they're not comfortable but these I can actually walk in so that's good <laughs> but I'm gonna go call a lift and head to the event I'll probably vlog on my phone though because I'm just like over carrying this camera around <laughs> vlog but I got sent home with a goodie bag and some leftovers from the event and I didn't eat it all. I was really excited that they were gonna have food so I'm very very happy that they brought like to-go boxes out. We're back from the event. It was so fun and I honestly never know who's gonna be at these events. It was Jenna's like event before her big event tomorrow um celebrating her like one year podcast if you guys don't listen to her podcast it's called fun on weekdays and i actually took her cover photo i'll 
insert it here. It's so cute. We went to Wax Myrtles. It was like more of like the sponsors, I guess, got together for the event and then some of like her friends and stuff. So I was able to meet some new people, which is always so, so fun. And I always appreciate like connecting with new people, especially here in Austin. I've been here for three years now and I feel like I'm never gonna stop wanting to meet new people, but I got like a little to-go box. So I think I'm gonna like heat this up in the air fryer. So that's gonna be loud in the back, but we'll just have to bear. Um, Ever since Ryan has been gone, which has not been for that long yet, um, I, you know, obviously knew I was gonna have a little bit of mom, dog mom guilt, and I did. I wasn't even gone for that long, like 6.30 to like 9.30, and usually I'm gone for longer, but I just feel so bad, because I feel like he always gives Sophie so much attention. Come here. It was so hot out, I just really wish I had a claw clip, so now I know to not go anywhere without a claw clip just hanging off my bag. I low-key was about to like go in and take my Invisalign off because my temporary teeth feel like they're a retainer and it just feels so uncomfortable, lovely. Um, and so I literally sometimes find myself going to like take them off if you ever had Invisalign. Whenever they get like uncomfortable, you just like slide them out. Or like when you're about to eat, which I was about to eat, and I was just about to go like that. I was like, wait, I literally can't get rid of this feeling for another couple of weeks, which honestly, I feel like it's going by super, super fast. Because um, my finals appointment is September 8th. I feel like I've been saying that a lot, but I'm counting down the days. Because like now it doesn't really hurt. It just feels like not like normal, you know? So just looking forward to having normal, real teeth. Hey y'all, it is Friday, it's midday, and I'm about to meet a new friend for acai bowls. We're gonna go to Blender and Bowls on the east side. I feel like there's so many like cute little places around this area of town that I always forget about. I've only gone here like once, and then I got it to go, obviously to go just didn't hit as good as getting it in the store because it's like acai bowls, avocado toast, and you know, it should just gets like mushy when you get it to go or take out. No, I think I Uber Eats it, so I feel like that's even worse. I've been very scatterbrained this whole week and I don't know why. I just can't seem to like focus on one thing. It's pissing me off so much because I have so many things to like just plan out for the rest of the year. And I don't know. I just don't know what's going on in my mind. So hopefully next week can be better and will be better. I will make sure of it. It's 7.20 and I am going to make myself a poke bowl for dinner. I actually just made a bunch of sushi rice. Well, I'm not done with it just yet, but I have like specific rice for sushi rice. It's just called sushi rice but to make it like an actual sushi restaurant does you have to put sugar and what is it vinegar something like that rice vinegar maybe um so i'm gonna do that in a second like a tablespoon of vegetable oil fourth cup of sugar half a cup of rice vinegar Whenever I make sushi rice, Ryan hates the smell so much. And it definitely has like a vinegar, like feet smelling smell. <laughs> and then I think we need to add some salt. We are probably going to go out tonight. I let the sauce cool and now it's time to pour it in and mix it. My friend's friend ended up arriving late because there was like a bit of a delay so we couldn't even make our reservation which is totally fine because we're just gonna go straight out to the bars and i think we're going to west and i'm actually so excited because i feel like i have not been like out out in forever and i'm just like so ready to like go out more i made a little margarita concoction i made it way too um strong at first so i poured like a little lacroix in it which is good because i need to hydrate anyway so i need to like chug it i ended up putting like cute little rose petals on top i just love being extra with my cocktails i love a pretty cocktail any little garnish i'm like 
wow a little lime i'm like that is beautiful like i don't know why i'm just like very impressed by like any little garnish or rim on any kind of cocktail but it's like so strong and gross still <laughs> usually a tequila girl like i never really drink vodka unless it is in drinks out at the bar and i'm like ooh, that like sounds good but i usually try to stick to tequila um so tonight i'm definitely going to try to do that because last time i was just like at a chill bar and i think my issue was <laughs> that i kept ordering like really sweet drinks because they were like craft like craft cocktails i don't even know what that means but like specialty cocktails where they like you know make it like pretty and stuff um and so there was like two really sweet ones that I ended up ordering and I got an immediate headache and now I'm like gonna remind myself don't do that like it's not worth it because then you literally have to go home and it's just not fun. I've been blasting some music trying to get me in the party mood because I feel like when it gets so late especially when you're like alone um, at first when we decided we weren't gonna go to codependent they were like we should just come to like one's place and then go from there and pregame and i was like hell yeah but i'm kind of glad that's not happening because then i would have had to rush clean the place which wouldn't have been like terrible and honestly it would have probably been better because then i would have cleaned my place but now i don't have to rush um but i'll probably end the vlog here and put like some clips i get throughout the night if i do i don't even know if i will i just remembered i need to figure out what purse I'm bringing and then like switch everything over. Um, and also my hair's been like, not greasy, but just pretty flat on here. So I just threw it up in a ponytail. And I feel like that's gonna be fine anyways. Cause like, it just gets so hot when you go out and you're just wanting to throw it up anyways. Like last night, I would have died for a hair clip or like a claw clip or something like that. So anyways, if you guys enjoyed this vlog, subscribe and don't forget to follow me on TikTok and Instagram. I am very active on both. So those are both, what do you want? <laughs> those are both so underscore gnarly. I also gave Sophie a bath today and she looks so nice and cute and she smells so good. Um, but I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.